So here's your scenario. Digitox is playing Dark Souls 2. This is some kind of a RPG game. It doesn't really matter what. Okay. So there are big knights. They take 100 seconds each to take down and yield 40 or 400 souls. It takes 60 seconds to run from night to night. Hollows take 20 seconds each, yield 80 souls, and take 20 seconds to get from hollow to hollow. Okay? So those are the little zombies. If he wants to 100 kills or less, right? So he doesn't want to spend tons and tons of time doing this, and wants to spend less than an hour walking between things, how many of each should he kill to maximize souls? Souls are your pay, right? And there's some kind of a cost here. Okay, see that? Time. Yeah. Okay, so what's the thing I want to maximize? What's a function for that and a name for that? <coughs> there's a video of this. I don't care about this. This is for Could my just own get closer and take a picture. Okay, so how about this? What's your objective? Okay, what's the thing you want to maximize? Souls. Souls, right? So souls is going to be your objective. And you're going to maximize souls as... Souls are a function of knights and hollows, right? So this K, that stands for number of knights, yeah? And the H stands for number of hollows. See that? So, how many souls do I get from each knight? 400. So, I make 400 times K souls from knights, right? How many souls does he make from hollows? 80. 80? OK, so there's your objective function, right? That's the thing I want to maximize. Now I need to find the constraints here. So what are my constraints? See a constraint in you here? Less than an hour. Good. So he wants to spend less than an hour walking. That's going to be his transit time, right? You guys see that? So how much is his transit time? Either 60 or 20. OK. So 60 seconds for nights and 20 seconds for hollows, right? Walking. Right, and that's straight up walking time, not interesting time. That's why he's trying to minimize that piece, or why we're trying to cut back on that piece. So how long is an hour in seconds? <laughs> you all want to say 16. 3,600 seconds. So this is his total time just walking around, and he wants to keep that under an hour. Yes, this? He doesn't want to be bored. Yeah, this is, I don't want to be bored. Even if I'm going to kill high value things, I don't want to spend all of my day walking. Right, so this is, I'm going to keep my transit time under an hour. And then what's your other constraint here? You don't kill more than 100 kills. Yeah, 100 kills or less. So, how do you phrase that? K plus H is less than or equal to 100. Thanks. Cool. So we don't care how long each one takes to kill. Fair enough. Enjoying the game. Cool. All right. So let's see. Where's my polygon? I need to make a polygon, right? So. Here's stuff. Now let's do this the right way. On the last one, we learned that it was confusing when I swapped these. So let's make this one X and that one Y. So this is going to be our knight axis and our hollows axis. And now I need to graph these two lines, right? You guys see that? Okay, so the k plus h is smaller than 100. That line should be relatively easy to graph. How do I do that? 
Keep the hunter on the other side. Put the hunter down on the other side. Move the cage to the other side. Uh oh. This is what I want to think about, right? K plus H is 100. And then you want your response variable to stay and your other variable to leave. So I want to have what to both sides here? Subtract K. I think I want to subtract K. So H will be 100 minus K. Which, how would you choose which one to do? I want, I want to know this in terms of that. The other option is that I could just think, okay, look, these two numbers are going to add together to be 100, right? What's two easy ways to add together to be 100? 50 and 50, or 0 and 100, and 100 and 0? Okay. You guys see that? Okay, so I know there's going to be up here at 100, and over here at 100. It's going to go through both of those. Bam. And then there's this point, 50, 50 in the middle, right? Yeah. Don't know. You guys cool with this? However you come up with that picture is fine. Cool. How about the orange one? How do we get the orange one on here? Find your intercepts. Yeah, I think maybe find the intercepts is easiest. So if k is 0, h is 180. So that's if k is 0, that's here, h is 180. That's up here someplace. Make my axis a little bigger. Let's pull that. And where's the other one? Six. When H is zero, K is sixty. So that's when H is zero, K is sixty. So I got my line like this now. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. So where's my feasibility polygon again? Okay, so it's in here, right? Why is it in there and not running off this way? A little less than satisfies both conditions. Satisfies both conditions and like why aren't I coloring over here? I mean, otherwise you're not playing the game. <laughs> yeah. You're gaining time. But yeah, that not. is super bizarre. Okay, so I can't be over here, right? Because that's not an option. That's cool. Thank you. Alright, right, so what are my vertices on this thing? Okay, so zero, zero is going to be a point of importance. Zero over a hundred up is a point of importance. This guy is sixty over zero up, and this dude is uh oh. Where's that one? Yeah, that's where the same thing, right? So how do I find that? Okay, you could do that. You could still you could. subtract. Augment, you could multiply. I'm going to take the first one. So here's my first equation, right? With a hard equal sign because I'm looking for where these lines intersect. And then I'm going to multiply the second equation by what? Probably 20, maybe negative 20 even. So I think I'm going to go with negative 20. And then add these together. I didn't multiply 60 by one. I multiplied this one by. <laughs> so this is the red one multiplied by negative 20. And this is just the orange one copied down. So I think I got 40k equals 1600, which tells me k should be. 40. 40. 
So if k is 40, what's h? 60. 60. 60. Sweet. Am I done? Yeah. Test them. Yeah, we got to put them all in, right? Okay, so where am I putting things? Into our objective point. Okay, so I no longer need this stuff. Oh, and I should label my point over here. This was the point 40 over 60 up. So those are my four interesting points. And I have to calculate S at each of those, right? Okay. So I need S at 0, 0 is 0. Right? If you kill nothing, you get nothing. This is, yeah, a horrible statement, but incredibly true in video games. How about S of, let's see, what's another one? Zero and a hundred. What do you get? Eight thousand. And what does this point indicate? you only kill hollows. Yeah, this is only killing hollows. You can make eight thousand souls. If you do, what's your next point? Uh, 60 and 0. <laughs> That's what I'm mean. yeah, sure. Alright, so if I plug 60 and 0 in, what do I get out? 24,000. 24,000. Which feels like it's probably a lot better, right? So I could kill knights instead. Or what's the balance? My other point. Where's that? That's at 40 and 60. So what do I get out of that? Uh, 16,000 plus 18,000. Say that again? That might be wrong, but 18,400. I got a 16 and a... That's 16,000... And a 4... And so... I have no idea. 20,800? Okay. So, what's my best option here? Skip all that hollow business. Yeah, skip all that hollow business. Those things are stupid anyway. Okay, there's my, there's my maximum, right? How do I say that? So, what do I write? I should answer this with a sentence, yeah? We have maximum souls by killing only nine. Forget the hollows. Right? Run past the night. Run past the hollows. Go to the night. That's what you want anyway. Cool? Plus plus four. <laughs> Any questions on this? You guys got the idea? So convert words into polygon, check the vertices on the polygon. That's what there is. You drakes are actually the best fit. Yes, clearly drakes are the best because they're yeah. Right.